Hey everyone, real quick, we're gonna add sound to this project where I'm flying through this wireframe and I'm shooting at these boxes. It's really easy with 3JS. 3JS provides a sound, hang on, an audio interface, 3.audio. Let's check it out. Here I am in my code, hang on a second. It's like, how big can I make this code? Do you know what I'm saying? And the answer is pretty damn big. Okay, so right here is where we're gonna add all of the setup code. We're gonna add our sound effects. First, I just wanna create an array to hold the sounds and then a couple of variables to assign those sounds to, one for destroying the box and one for shooting the laser. Create a manager for loading these files and the manager is going to have an onload method that just yells in the console loaded and shows the sounds that's just for debug we'll create an audio loader three dot audio loader and pass in that manager as a prop here's a list of the mp3 files that are in the project that i'm going to load and an audio listener you'll see why that's important in a second i'm going to add that to the camera now for each of those mp3s i'm going to loop over them create a new sound using that listener I created earlier. Give that sound the name. This is the name, either Fitz or Laser01 or Blarmp or Splode. Now, if the name is Blarmp, I want that to be the box sound. And if the name is Laser01, I want that to be the laser sound. I'm gonna push those into my sound array and call the audio loader to load those files. This is the path in my directory to those files. And once it's created, I need to set the buffer for the data that's loaded. I hope that makes sense. Save it. Move this out of the way. We're not seeing anything yet because there are no, there's just that loaded call, right? But let's handle that. Come down to your fire laser method inside the code and I'm gonna add this laser sound dot stop. Make sure it's not playing before I start or else we might have issues. I also want to vary the sound and there's a method called detune where I can set um, between, I think each 100 cents is equal to one semitone. Nonetheless, I'm using these numbers and I'm getting the results I want. And lastly, play the sound. Save it. Let's hear it without the detune. You hear the difference? It's the same every time. I mean, this way it's it's a kind of a, it's kind of random. Great. Let's add the box exploding sound. That's gonna go inside of this collision detection code here. Same thing. I want to stop any sounds that are currently playing. Then detune. This time I'm detuning even more and play. And let's save it and see what it sounds like. Did you hear that? I'm gonna comment out the laser sound so you can just hear the box exploding sound. Here, comment out this, this code here. So I'm not loving that sound. Let's swap in one of the other sounds that we loaded. I've got this splode sound right here. So let's use that instead of blarmp. That's more of an explosion sound. And let's bring back the lasers down in our fire laser method. Wait, is that it? Here we go, here it is. Uncomment. Oh, hell yes. That's how you do it. Give this a try and see what you think.
And if you like this video, share it. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.